month of uh, March and April, I worked on a project in Jakarta called uh, Petsa Jakarta or Mapping Jakarta, depending on if you're Indonesian or native English speaker. And um, the goal was to map all the critical infrastructure in Jakarta. Um, the reason was uh, the software colloquially uh, uh, called Risk in a Box uh, was being built. It's, ex it's actually exposure modeling software. So if you have an event like an earthquake or tsunami, what's the actual effect? Uh, so the World Bank and AUSAID have been working together on this for over a year now. And how do you end up with this craziness? But what this means is, are these buildings closed? Did the flood affect them? Things like that. So we didn't have any data. And I don't know where the rest of my slide went either. But uh, so we got together to map Jakarta. Uh, the local provincial disaster management agency PPPD. I don't know what that stands for. My name is, it's not that great yet. Um, and the National Disaster Agency, we're leading this, as well as UNOCHA, AUSAID, Humanitarian Open Street Map Team, and we partnered with the University of Indonesia. What we did, with the help of 70 university students, fortunately, is we printed out maps for 267 villages. Jakarta is very urban. Village is not the right term, but anyway, three maps for each, tons of printing, lots and lots of students, fortunately. We asked them to mark stuff up and then come to an event. So we said, we want the head of the village to come, which is a government appointed position there, and someone who knows where stuff is. We had six of these events, and we're talking about 267 villages times two plus 70 students. Huge, huge events. We got together, student paired with their two people from the local government and said, show us where that stuff is. Where are the schools, where are the hospitals, where could you stick a lot of people if it flooded? Uh, the last major flood in Jakarta was in 2007. We also mapped the uh, neighborhood boundary, so one below village. Did it flood in 2007, yes or no? So, you have to give something back to people. This is an example of one of the maps we gave back. So, another 267 uh, maps handed back. This is where your critical infrastructure is. This is where your neighborhood boundaries are. That's just the beginning. Um, we also, uh, there was text here that said map for the governor of Jakarta. <laughs> but uh, this is a very high level project. How do you like it? So we actually have, so the closing ceremony is soon. I'm missing out. Um, unfortunately, I'm back here with all of you. But, um, but the idea was, could a bunch of people come together, map the important things in their city, have a result, and then where do you take it from there? So uh, we're looking towards doing this in another four or five provinces in Indonesia. Um, this is a tool um, which uh, Hot developed as part of this project, not specifically to map Jakarta, but it's called the Tasking Manager, so it allows people to pick a little square and go digitize off of that. We've been working in Padang. So Padang is a city of about 300,000. It's on the island of Sumatra. Some of you have probably heard of that because of your love for coffee. <laughs> or the awful tsunami that happened seven, eight years ago. Padang's at a huge risk for another disaster. So we bought imagery and we've been using this ta tasking manager to digitize all of the buildings. This is an example of one of the other places we'll be going, meeting with the uh, heads of the local villages, Where's import what's important, where are you going to evacuate people, where are you going to run from the tsunami, in this particular case, Jakarta was flooding. The one thing, so there's some other technical things. Uh, so field papers, um, a lot of us use walking papers. It allows you to print out a map, write all over it, you take a picture of it, upload it, and it's automatically georeferenced. This is the next uh, stage of it. So the hope is to develop this a little further. So we're not wrangling 70 college students. We're maybe wrangling five or six to organize the printing. Um, printing sounds pretty low tech, but if you're working with people who don't regularly use computers, but no maps, 
which is the case in Indonesia, you can actually say, okay, write on this what is important. So moving out of the digital and the paper is really important. So we'll see where that goes next. Um, that's it for me. Uh, no questions at the moment, but I'll be wandering around. Thank you.